Welcome to worship at First United Methodist Church of Arlington Heights, where we love boldly because the better world is possible. I'm Melissa Early, the lead pastor, and I use the pronouns she, her, and hers for myself. For this holiday weekend, we wanted to offer you something really special. So we've pulled out our favorite music videos from this past year, and I have to tell you, you are in for a treat. Now, our first hymn, uh, not one of the featured videos, but still a fabulous hymn is Oh, for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. What better way to kick off this service celebrating music? Please greet one another with the peace of Christ. So you take a minute and use your phone or uh, social media and reach out to someone and wish them that the peace of Christ would be with them this day. Peace be with you. Hi there, young friends. Uh, my name is Ben, and I know that I don't know most of you, and I know that most of you don't know me yet, but I am super excited to get to meet you, uh, to learn about God, and to have some fun together. Today is a very special day for our church uh, because we get to gather and sing together, um, and that's what we're going to do right now. So uh, we have two songs, and our first song is called Peace Like a River, uh, and it has some motions um, that I want you to try out. So. I'm going to sing and play, uh, and in a minute, my twin brother, Sven, is going to uh, show up to teach you some of the motions, okay? So uh, wherever you're at, make sure you have something like, I don't know, six feet of space between you and another person, uh, but for dance moves this time. All right? Ready? Here we go. peace like a river I've got peace like a river I've got peace like a river in my soul I've got peace like a river I've got peace like a river I've got peace like a river in my soul I've got love like an ocean is the next verse. Ready? I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. 
I've got a love like an ocean in my soul. Alright, for our third verse, we're singing Joy Like a Fountain. You ready? Here we go. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. All right, for the last time through, we're going to put all of them together, all right? All three right in a row. Ready? Here we go. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. So our next song this morning uh, is called uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. All right, and so we've got some more fun motions coming at you for this one too. And again, my twin brother Sven will be coming in and teaching you the motions. So here we go. Let's do Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. But other band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me Sometimes up and I'm sometimes down It's coming for to carry me home But still my soul is on solid ground Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Awesome. Friends, thanks so much for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoy the rest of worship. Praise be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are the creator of all things good and the ruler of the earth. We give thanks for the beauty and majesty that surround us. Inspire the minds of all who govern here in our country and around the world. May we all work together so that justice might flourish. We are grateful for all the ways we are able to embrace liberty and freedom of choice. May we never forget those who are held captive by injustice, by the greed of others, by negativity and despair. Help us claim our freedom to live and work with your gracious will so that we and our nation may move on to perfection and love. We pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our scripture passage this morning is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song because God has done wonderful things. His own strong hand and 
own holy arm have won the victory. The Lord has made nation widely known and revealed his righteousness in the eyes of all the nations. God has remembered his loyal love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. Every corner of the earth has seen our God's salvation. Shout triumphantly to the Lord, all the earth. Be happy. Rejoice out loud. Sing your praises. Sing your praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of music. With trumpets and a horn blast, shout triumphantly before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it roar, the world and all its inhabitants too. Let all the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains rejoice out loud together before the Lord, because God is coming to establish justice on the earth. God will establish justice in the world rightly. God will establish justice among all people fairly. We sing for many reasons in church. We tell our story with God through song. Psalm, Psalm 105 verse two says, sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all God's wonderful acts. Think of the songs that tell stories from the Bible. Some of our favorites are from Christmas.
And if we're going to share the story of Jesus' birth, we need to tell the story of his resurrection. Here is the first choir video Fumka's choir made, which was for Easter of 2020. We also use music to encourage each other and to share our faith. Living fear to fear 
We sing to praise God. Psalm 95, 1 says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout to the rock of our salvation. His videos take a lot of work, as you can imagine. I had the chance to sit down with Ed Gadbury and Kim Buck and to find out a little bit about the behind the scenes of video creation. Here's our conversation. So I am here with Ed Gadbury and Kim Buck, who are two members of our church choir, uh, but we have really appreciated their work behind the scenes in making music videos. You have seen their work many Sundays during this past year, and today we are featuring many of their best of videos for today's Celebration of Music Sunday. So I thought it'd be fun to hear from them about what goes on in making these fabulous videos that we all have gotten to enjoy during the pandemic. So Ed, why don't you start just by taking us through, you made that early on, you surprised us with a video of the dry bones passage from Ezekiel that features some skeletons in it um, and your kids. Yeah. Uh, and I remember Chris Rice, so originally I was supposed to preach after that video in the order of service. And then Chris called me and said, yeah, no, I don't think you want to. I think you want that to go after you. <laughs> I did not want to follow it. He was right. So can you tell us a little bit about what go, how, you, how you made that video? Sure. Yeah, well, I think I had done one video earlier um, 
in June that was just myself on one. And so uh, that planted the seed in your mind or in Lynn's mind that, you know, you wanted something else. And so I think Lynn called me or you did and said you needed a song for uh, this particular theme and Dry Bones was the song that you wanted. So in this case, um, I didn't have the luxury of picking my own song, which I was a little nervous about. Um, and then I heard the song and I, of course I knew the song, but I was like, how can I turn this, make this, you know, kind of jazz up this song a little bit. And so I was looking around on, um, and I found um, a gospel choir, I think in Baptist church in Tennessee that was doing a really interesting version of it. And so I, I heard that version uh, was, and it had, they had a full jazz band, or I should say a full uh, uh, pit band. They had a bass guitar that was just fantastic and a drummer and stuff. And so I thought, how can I, and my, of course my kids play instruments and we were all um, not able to perform anywhere. We, you know, they were there in bands and stuff at school. And so it was a, probably twisted their arm quite a bit in order to do it. But um, when they saw the idea that I put together, then they kind of got into it a little more. Some, they might've had a smile on their face that wasn't, you know, a little bit faked, but you know, that's part of uh, part of acting, right? So, <laughs> so anyway, I wrote the music arrangement, put it together, decided what parts I was gonna have the kids play and uh, recorded the audio first. Um, and then, um, once we had the audio track together, then we did the video with a green screen in, the, in our in my basement. So we we moved all the furniture around and put a hung a giant green sheet from the wall, one of the walls, and figured out you know got a million lamps so that it was all just the right lighting and um, figured out put blue marks in the floor where we were going to step and where we were going to dance and all that stuff. So we because I had to think through kind of the whole. Um, where I was going to have the skeletons and where I was going to have the dog and where I was going to have this and that I had to think that through kind of ahead of time. And, um, and then I found that cool background of the desert, which was perfect because it was the Valley of Dry Bones out in Utah or something. Um, and um, so then we recorded like each of the parts individually. So first it was my part singing and then it was the horns coming in and um, used software on my iMac, some 10 year old software now, which I wish I had newer software. Now I know what the newer software does, but it was stuff that I tinkered with before, but I'd never quite to this degree. So it took, you know, um, several weeks of, of planning, of recording uh, the audio, then the video. And then um, my son actually, uh, Nolan was the one that came up with the idea of the animation of the, cause he had fooled around with some, um, some Lego stuff that he was doing with video. And he, he's like, then we can make some bones dance. And so then we found these, skeletons from Halloween decorations that we hung from the ceiling on a wire, put them up against the green sheet. And uh, he moved it once a little bit and then moved a little, we did some, some slow motion. Um, um, and anim- what's it called? Animation, I guess it's called. Yeah. So um, stop, motion, yeah. stop motion. That's what it's called. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Is it like yeah, the it was, claymation? Like when I was growing up, same technique. Right off, it's basically that. Okay. Wallace yeah. and Gromit. Yeah. Same technique. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And then there were lots of, you know, things when I, you know, we went back and redid it again where we had to, so it was something that was, I drove them crazy because, you know, the lighting wasn't quite right in this take. And um, I drive my entire family crazy with that kind of stuff, but it was, it was worth it in the end. Obviously we came out and now we have, uh, now we're forever marked in history with uh, that particular rendition. Forever. Um, Great reason yeah. to be marked though. And you sounded amazing. Your voice Thank was you. perfect for that. So I don't so know if it wasn't fun. for COVID if we would have the if we would have done it, you know, if it wasn't, I never would have talked him into doing it. I would have um, why would you? probably would not have had a reason to do it. So it was um, yeah. it, it was a hobby that kind of came out of the woodwork because of our situation with the pandemic. So um, yeah. and it, it was, was a good so chance for them to um, brush up on their music skills a little bit, too. So and how long do you think did it take you? For that particular one, I think it was like three weeks. It was uh, several weekends, one weekend putting the arrangement together, rec- another weekend recording the audio, and then another weekend um, plus getting them to practice their parts and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. it was um, it was significant, but it was, you know, it was fun. Um, mm-hmm. I wouldn't do it every month, but for the, that month back in June of last year when I couldn't do anything else, it was <laughs> it was a good hobby, a good uh, a good side project. So. Yeah. We, all, we all needed it. We all needed that surprise. Yeah. It's so um, cool. That's for me been one of the fun. I do not watch the music ahead of time because I like, 
I, I like for me, the surprise, the discovery of what's going to happen. And Kim, that's been one of the great things about watching the choir videos is that it's like what happens for me on a Sunday morning. Cause I don't hear you all rehearse. I know the name of it. And typically that's about all I know, unless Jeannie's told me a little bit more, but it's so nice to have that ah, moment. Now your oh. work has been dealing with all the choir members um, yes. and there, you've included a lot of people throughout this year. So can you um, add to what Ed said around your work with the choir? What, what, how do you manage all those? Sure. Like there, yeah, there are two, um, there, there are two aspects to it. There's the project management aspect of it. And then there's the actual assembly of the video. And yeah, we've had as many as 40 people in uh, some of the holiday videos. Um, so yeah, th th it can be um, a lot, but that's, those sound the best. So I never mind. So the, the, the project management piece of it, it usually spans about four weeks and Janie picks the song and marks up the music and says, you know, breathe here, don't breathe here, get louder here, like she would in rehearsal, but of course we're not able to rehearse. And then we get somebody to record a practice track for each part, so soprano, alto, tenor, bass. And then the singers uh, download the practice tracks and they re either record themselves or I've been recording a lot of people at church because sometimes the, the process for doing it yourself can be a little tricky. Um, and they record themselves listening to the track through earbuds while recording into a separate device. So the resulting file is just voice. And okay. I collect all of those. Um, and then Chris Rice and I do the, the audio mix. And, you know, a lot of people take guitar lessons and stuff with Chris at church. I take music mixing lessons. He's my teacher, excellent <laughs> teacher of you, if you care about that. It's quite a complicated process, actually. And, you know, and you, and you line up all of the tracks and they all look like waves. And the first, the most challenging part is, is aligning everybody. So they're exactly right. And when, you know, we do these precision movements, I spend hours, I have actually spent nine hours for different tracks, moving voices back and forth by a 10th of a second. And it makes it, it, that is the difference between a sounding like a mishmash and the beautiful choir sound that you're used to hearing. And then, then Chris helps me with the, the fancier effects, you know, just balancing and applying like reverb and things like that. And that's how you get the full sound that makes it sound like we're in the sanctuary. So quite a lot of work goes into that. And then um, the actual, the video piece of it. So you kind of lay out a, a grid with the software and then you, you bring in each person's video and align it to the audio so their lips are moving in the right places and then scale it and move it you know and give each person their little box um and then you know i get really bored at looking at talking heads and boxes so that's when you bring in whatever other special effects you want to add and we've done stop motion and time lapse and you know um choir on the ceiling of the church and you know and, and a lot of really fun things like that. And, and that's, that's pretty much it, but I I'm, I'm with that. I think my, the most I've spent on a single video is about 60 hours, you know, but I just love it so much. It's so much fun. I'm, I, I'm, I work in the software industry as my career and I've actually been playing with the, the video software and the audio editing software since those tools have existed. Cause I'm also really old and, but just never had a, a reason to, never had a, a purpose for it. So this has just been you know, in a way, a godsend for me. I love it. It's huge. It's huge. I mean, it makes a huge difference to me personally. And then I know like my mom sometimes watches our services and she always loves our choir. And, you know, we've heard from people who we have yet to meet face to face or a few people who we are meeting now face to face. And they, it's, it's meant the world to people to see the music the two of you have done. Now, my last question for the two of you is, clearly you spend a lot of time on this and the congregation, um, near and far is getting a tremendous amount out of your work. What do you get out of it? Why do you do it? Ed, why don't you go first? I'm um, sure. <clears throat> well, I used to be a high school teacher and I used to do musicals. Um, I used to, after that, I did some videography for weddings. It's always been something that's been kind of a little hobby of mine, but I didn't have the calling for the final product, you know? So I think my whole life I've been uh, practicing for, 2020 Funka, and there it was. It was my calling. It was, you know, I don't know how many years in a row I could do it, but um, certainly it was. It was. Uh, 
it was great. It was it was fun, and I'm glad also for my that my kids. You know, I got a chance to pull them in to a couple of them, so that was fun. And like like you said, I got to show my mother, who's an assisted living, who another never would have otherwise really seen me sing. So it was an excuse to put something on a handheld device that you could show to anybody at any time um, and show them how great our choir is at FUMCA and you know some of the fun stuff we're doing. So. Oh, that's yeah. great. I did not know you had that background. That's fabulous. I'm glad it was put to use. Thank you. Yeah, Kim, what about you? Why do you do this? What do you get out of it? Well, I shared some of it already. I mean, really, to, you know, to, to know how much it means to the choir to participate, to know how much it means to the congregation, to see the choir. That has it, it every every comment like that just fills my heart. I just I absolutely love it. Um, and it's a fun it was a fun, you know, fun challenge also. Um, Great. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to close this time if I can with a prayer of thanks for the both of you and for all of those who you have been um, working with and coaching and, and roping in um, to this important ministry in the life of our church. So let's, if you would um, well, let me pray, pray for and with you, let's pray. One more thing, because oh, yeah. I forgot to give a shout out to my son, Jeff, who hasn't done the choir videos with me, but he's such an accomplished videographer that I had the confidence to move forward trying to do this because I knew that he would be tech support for me <laughs> if I had That's a great. question. And he lets me borrow his lights and his tripods and stuff like that. So pray for Jeff too. Thank right. you. And if you've gone on our website and seen the aerial footage of our church building, that's his work. That's it right. is, it is. That's, that's Thank work. you. <laughs> let's, um, let's pray. Loving and gracious God, uh, who writes the music of the cosmos. We give you thanks for the gifts of Ed and Kim and all those other folks who have been working behind the scenes with them to help produce wonderful music videos for our worship during this difficult season. We give you thanks for Chris and Christina Rice who have been tech support and trainers and have worked diligently with these two to be sure that we had as good a quality of music as possible to show off and honor the talents and time of the people in our church. We ask that you continue to use the gifts of these two, both in their uh, regular working life and in the ministry of our church, in all the ways that ways you might call them uh, into service. Bless them and be with them. Amen. Amen. Thank you both so, so much. We Thank really, you. Thank really you. appreciate it. Fun. And here's the video for dry bones. Get up and put your hands together and move for the Lord. Get up and put your hands together and
ankle bone. The ankle bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the knee bone. The knee bone's connected to the thigh. The thigh bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the back. The back bone's connected to the shoulder bone. The shoulder bone's connected to the neck. The neck bone's connected to the head. Dry bones, dry bones, dry bones, dry bones. Come on and move for the Lord. Thanks so much for worshiping with us this morning and for supporting the ministries of our church. Your giving has encouraged us all through this difficult year. If you would like to make a financial gift online, go to fumka.com give, or you can mail your check to 1903 East Euclid Avenue, Arlington Heights, Illinois, 60004. We are entering a season in Illinois where things are reopening. And so and because of this new stage we're in, we are returning to full in-person worship. So if you live locally, we hope you'll join us in person, 9.30 a.m. here at First UMC in Arlington Heights. Uh, if you are worshiping from a distance or are not able to come to church, please know that we will continue to have an online presence. We'll stream our in-person service and that same service will be available later in the day on Sundays. So continue to worship with us from wherever you are. And finally, again, for folks who are local, we are having VBS, Vacation Bible School, for children this summer. It's coming up quick. Go to fumka.com slash VBS to learn all about it. And now let us sing together one of our great uh, patriotic songs on this holiday weekend, America the Beautiful. When we sing, we pray twice. So sustained in prayer, may we go forth to boldly love God and neighbor, knowing that a better world is possible and we can help build it. Go in peace. <laughs>